This is the third day of the new year, the 1-9. That makes it day 714 of the Trump administration. And tonight, for the second time in U.S. history, a woman is second in line to the president. For the second time in U.S. history, a woman is Speaker of the House. Turns out it was the same woman both times. Nancy Pelosi, a Baltimore native, longtime Democratic member of Congress from the state of California, is once again House Speaker, where the Democrats have just become the check on this president. Today, after giving the, being given the gavel, she spoke about respect and truth. We have no illusions that our work will be easy and that all of us in this chamber will always agree. But let each of us pledge that when we disagree, we respect each other and we respect the truth. It was an odd day at the U.S. Capitol. All these swearing-ins going on while the government remains shut down. Tomorrow at midnight will mark two, two weeks. Pelosi and the Democratic leadership say there will be no wall and no money for any wall. They could not wait to do what they just did tonight, pass two funding bills to reopen the government, but the measures contain no money for a wall. Pelosi told reporters her party is just doing what Senate Republicans did last month. We have sent, are sending them back exactly, word for word, what they have passed, whether it's to cover the eight agencies of government, and exactly what they passed in a continuing resolution until February 8th. Why would they not do that? Then the speaker was asked if that meant not one dollar for the president's border wall. Is there any situation in which you would accept even a dollar of wall funding for this president in order to reopen the government? A dollar? One dollar? Yeah, one dollar. How high would you be willing to go? Are you going to go? You said a dollar. You said a dollar. How high are you going to go? Well, that's not your question. You said a dollar. I'll answer your question. The fact is, a wall is an immorality. It's not who we are as a nation. Of course, it doesn't really matter what the House passed tonight if it's dead on arrival in the new look Republican Senate, where the GOP now has a 53-47 majority. Mitch McConnell controls what is brought to that floor. He says this spending package will not be brought to the floor because the president does not support it. There's no wall money in it. But then there was this tonight. Washington Post reports McConnell may have broken in the have a problem in the ranks. Quote, two Senate Republicans broke with Trump and party leaders Thursday, saying it was time to end the shutdown, even if Democrats would not sign off on the more than five billion in border funding Trump is demanding. The comments from Senators Cory Gardner of Colorado and Susan Collins of Maine, the only two Senate Republicans who are up for re-election in 2020 in states Trump lost, pointed to cracks in the GOP strategy. Now, it sure seems like they're trying to say it comes down to politics here. And meanwhile, earlier this afternoon, President Trump made a surprise appearance in the White House briefing room. He told reporters that he's winning the fight over funding for the border wall, but he began his remarks by actually congratulating the new speaker. I just want to start off by congratulating Nancy Pelosi on being elected Speaker of the House. It's a very, very great achievement. And uh, hopefully we're going to work together and we're going to get lots of things done, like infrastructure and so much more. The president took no questions during his first ever remarks in his own White House briefing room. Tomorrow morning, the leaders of both parties will head back to the White House to once again talk to the president about this ongoing shutdown. Let's bring in our leadoff panel for a Thursday night, shall we? Peter Baker, chief White House correspondent for The New York Times. Kelsey Snell, congressional reporter for NPR. And Sam Stein, politics editor for The Daily Beast. We welcome all three back to our broadcast for a Thursday night. Uh, so, Kelsey, this is your beat specifically. How fraught is this as the president figures out how to deal with a person familiar to him, just not in this title. Nancy Pelosi is now Speaker Pelosi. 
Yeah, this is the possibly the strangest shutdown that I have ever covered because typically when we're at a situation where they are at an impasse, there's these efforts scurrying around the Capitol, the principals are meeting, their staff are meeting, but this time it just feels really different because both sides are really dug in. You heard Pelosi say that the wall is an immorality, and I think that is a really, really important thing to hear when you're thinking about where Democrats are on this because when you're talking about a word like morality, it's very different than just, say, a policy platform or a political space. It's making it a core belief about who Democrats believe themselves to be. And I think the president might not be hearing that word and might not be realizing how much it makes it difficult for Democrats to move on this. And like you said, there are these two Republicans who are breaking in the Senate, which does put some pressure on McConnell, but McConnell doesn't want to be embarrassed and pass another bill that the president won't sign. So we're at this impasse that I can't really see where they find it out for themselves. So, Peter, there was the president flanked by federal employees. What was that thing in the briefing room today? The all call went out from Sarah. A briefing, which usually indicates questions and answers. Press secretary came out and introduced, and I'm quoting here, our very great president, Donald J. Trump. Peter, what was that? Well, it's a way of the president getting in on Nancy Pelosi's day a little bit, getting, uh, you know, trying to reframe the debate. Uh, the Democrats, of course, had the, a day of images of them taking office and children up on the podium and so forth and pledging to reopen the government. He wanted to get back in the conversation. His point, which is that this wall is necessary in his view to sec secure the country. These people behind him are, are members of the Border uh, Patrol unions that have supported him politically in the past, support his policy proposal on the wall, and he wanted to kind of get his point into the conversation a little bit. Uh, so, Sam, uh, anything that you can read, any signal pointing that the deal could be brokered here? In fact, just the opposite. Every Everything you read suggests that this could go on a lot longer than a lot of people are willing to uh, come to grips with at this point. Usually, uh, shutdowns are solved in one of two ways, uh, a short-term punt in which you just agree to continue negotiating uh, months, weeks from now, or you try to negotiate some sort of bigger-term package. In each case, uh, the paths forward seem pretty fraught. Uh, no one wants to do a short-term punt after Trump basically said he, told, he was taking it too hard from conservative talk radio and had to get border wall funding in any deal. So that seems like uh, an avenue that can't move forward. And then on the big-term deal, the problem we have here is that the contours of a negotiation, which would essentially be a uh, big investment in wall funding or border security in exchange for some sort of comprehensive immigration reform measures, that has been tried in the past, but the deal fell apart because of a variety of reasons, most notably because the White House's uh, more hardline immigration advocates wanted to insert more uh, hardline measures into the deal. So with both those avenues closed, it really becomes difficult to see where the resolution will happen, absent some sort of real-world event complicating factors or real-life pain emanating from the shutdown currently in week two. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.